Are you a flirt? Have you ever wanted to improve your flirting? Some people struggle with flirting and find they don't know where to begin. But there are a few flirting characteristics that can improve your chances of effectively flirting with someone. Dr. Aaron Benzev explained in his Psychology Today article that these groups of flirting characteristics underlie effective flirting. He wrote that although there is no formula for successful flirting, there are characteristics that increase its chances of ending well. If you take on a natural approach to these behavior characteristics, your flirting may improve. In order of importance, here are the nine characteristics to keep in mind the next time you flirt with your crush. Number one, nonverbal behavior. Something to remember the next time you flirt, not only what you say to your crush, but your behavior as well. A good amount of eye contact, not too intensely, but still letting them know that you're listening by looking at them in the eyes from time to time. Also, remember to genuinely smile when you can. Everyone loves a sweet smile. Good hygiene and scent are always great as well. It's not just what you tell your crush about yourself verbally, but non-verbally as well. Number two, intelligence. When flirting, you may wanna show that you're intelligent as well by saying a witty joke or having a natural conversation about topics that show you're educated in a variety of things. Number three, a gentle approach. When flirting, it's always important to be respectful as well as having fun with it. People wanna see you're mature as much as you're funny and flirty. If they're not comfortable, you won't make things better by continuing. Always be respectful and mature in your flirting attempts. Number four, cheerfulness. When someone is looking for a partner, they're not only going to want someone who is respectful and kind, but someone who is cheerful as well. This is another characteristic that is said to underlie effective flirting. Wouldn't you want a partner that makes you happy? If your flirting has a bit of cheerfulness in it, then you're on the right track. Number five, romantic intentions. Of course, when you're flirting, it's always a great idea to show you're romantic. You can have a bit of fun flirting, but throughout, you may wanna show how romantic you can be. Whether it's a sweet look in the eyes that you give or a bit of gentleness in your touch, a hint of romance is often essential for flirting. Number six, courage and determination when flirting. It can be nerve wracking to approach someone you like and flirt with them. Where do you begin? Confidence is key. If you're going to flirt well, you need not only courage, but determination. So that flirty joke you've been playing out in your head to tell them, flirt courageously and confidently. Number seven, something in common. Of course, for you to develop a relationship with your crush, you'll wanna have something in common with them. So before you start flirting, you may wanna find out a few things about them. What do they like? Do they have any shared interests, values? You'll need to keep the conversation going after your witty flirting. That's the goal. So a few things in common is always a good idea so you can easily bring the conversation back to something you have in common. Number eight, good looks. We don't know what qualities others find attractive about others, but we can always try to be our best selves to create a first attraction when you approach who you're about to flirt with. Good looks can always help. So if you can, keep up good hygiene and wear your favorite outfit to express your best self. And number nine, a mysterious allure. Lastly, we have mystery. If you wanna ask your crush on a date after some flirting, they'll likely wanna to get to know you more if you leave something for them to want to know. When asked about something, reveal what you feel comfortable with, but you don't need to reveal everything about yourself in one sitting. Be honest, respectful, and curious with your crush, but at first, feel free to leave a bit of mystery. It may just leave them wanting to hear more from you, perhaps on that date. So, which of these flirting characteristics will you keep in mind next time you approach your crush? We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to click the like button and share it with a friend. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. As always, thanks for watching and see you next time.